obviously you know who I am. This is the one and only Blaze of Glory himself, Gilbert Blaze, fucking faggot. He's a homosexual. I'm a homosexual, damn it. He's a uh, true and, slayer. And, and, Crazy Mike 1706. I'm C Dude 9590. Rarely do videos, and this motherfucker doesn't even have a camera. Yeah, but why don't you go tell him who you are? Anyway. Yeah. Give her one, two, three, make you my YouTube debut. <laughs> so, wh Ooh. so where do we start off? Do you start off with like the flights and whatnot? Uh, yeah, 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 flights. Let's talk about flights. So I'll talk about my flights, man. First and foremost, guys, let me get my book back. Let me tell you how bad <laughs> airport security is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait so, hear this story. So, so, right, I get off the plane in Houston, and I look through my bag, and I swear to God, I'm not joking. Look what I had in my freaking bag. Look, 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 look. <laughs> I'm just going to go up to the council just so you motherfuckers can see that I'm not fucking joking around. <laughs> <laughs> we got two bus gooders. We got four minutes, people. We got four minutes, people. In my fucking bag. In my fucking bag. Who just love airport security? You, you gotta love airport security. Yeah, we're from New York, people. New York. Anyway, our flight in New York's get the New York get delayed. And if that doesn't make things worse, then our flight in Atlanta got delayed. delayed. And then it gets worse off from there. So it turns out that this guy, I was asking him for a photo to see how he looks the night before. But uh, why <laughs> couldn't you send me that photo? You want to tell him why? Little, uh, Yes, he was way too fucking high, so he didn't know how to send me the fucking photo. He's from Canada, his He's from Canada by the way. And we have no clue what he looks like. There's way too much traffic. Then he finally comes up to me, and how much did you pay for a taxi cab? Seventy dollars. Seventy bucks. Whew. Freaking awful. Mo was supposed to pick me up, and never did. Yep. I ended up waiting there for three hours. Guys, some fucking advice. If you're going to get a driver, get someone that's cool. Don't rely on someone that you probably don't know because... Uh, I'm not gonna get into it, but let's just put it this way: bad experience, almost. And yeah, make so. sure you have minutes on your cell phone. Yeah, keep your shit charged. Yes. <laughs> have your phone ready and handed for the use, please. So next. And being and I were basically no worries. Like you were fine. I was fine. I was fine. I drove here fine. I'm big. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm too big for the freaking airplane. The most arduous journeyman of us all, Joshua. So difficult to get here for you, wasn't it? Yes, the 30 so, minutes it takes to get here. <laughs> right now. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> 30 minutes! You lucky bastard. So, right now, we might as well go through. Oh, right. uh, Houston, Texas. Love the state. I mean, love the city. Drivers. Learn how oh, to fucking oh, drive. Oh, I think New York drivers are horrible. These people in Houston are fucking horrible. Ready to go grab that dot on your ass. And lower down the prices of your goddamn food. Yeah, this is so Lord. super expensive here. Like, my God, it's expensive. Five dollars for a pretzel? Five dollars for a hot dog. <laughs> Three fifty for a fucking Gatorade. <laughs> exactly. Awful. Right. Oh, it's called tax it's crazy. folks. It's called property tax. They say property bigger, property everything's taxes. bigger and better in Texas, and I came to find out, and I think it's true. Definitely is. In more ways than one. <laughs> so, like, do we get to the ring of honor? <laughs> yeah. But, um, we might as well talk about all this meeting up first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I get here at around 1, 105, and the fuck with Josh, I just send the text message. So, how are you going to kill me? So, you can tell your whole Yes, thing. okay. As I said <laughs> in my other video, I have tried to make five ring of honor shows. Never been able to make it because shit always happens. Shit happened last week, which <laughs> made me think this wasn't going to happen. He had my ticket, and um, yeah, so I was on my way there, and he's like, oh, you're going to kill me. And I'm like, you motherfucker, do not, do not even. Like, he was there. Everything worked out. Uh, me and him went to the Booker T thing, which was, I talked about this before, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, met up with Bill and Doug, met up with A Stone, who's also here. Folks, there's like 10 different people from YouTube here. Exactly. It is crazy. And that's YouTubers. the people that get on camera. Right. That's not the other, that's not people who are just, Comment and yeah. that you probably know just although all, although I would like to say to the people who I did meet who were subscribers of all of us I would like to say thank you and just let you know we have no ego we love to get to know you people and we just like to say thank you I mean the, yeah. some guy came up to me and took a picture with me and Crazy Mike because he enjoyed our videos for that I thank you yeah and, and let me tell you guys something you got to see this man in person to know how big he is super <laughs> like yeah. super. super camera does not just and Doug this dude is fucking tall. Like. He's like, yeah. what, 6'4", six, 6'5"? Six, yes. yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought this, tell from his baby, he's tall. I, I thought this guy was short. This guy's actually taller than me. Yeah, exactly. Fuck. 
calling in stars, baby. So once we all <laughs> met, well, we did take the group picture of Bill and Doug. Yes, which yeah, some which of you great. probably already heard because yeah. they talked about they it, talked which was fun. Well. Um, I had met them before. None of these guys never mm -hmm. met them. And um, I want to thank them. They already put up a video. Yeah, they, they were we, really cool. we, we really like meeting them and talking to them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we actually had a really good time. I'm glad mm -hmm. they enjoyed the Ring of Honor show. I yeah. told you you fools would like it. Um, <laughs> exactly. Let's, the let's push, I hate to admit defeat the true stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, the, I'm telling you right now, Supercard 4, you know, I, I'm not good at recommend DVDs, but you better buy that fucking DVD. That was it's the greatest show I've ever it been. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. All right, might as well run through the whole thing. Right. The whole thing. Even though you've already done, done your little run through. Right, yeah. Mike, Mike's yeah. going to be the official it's card holder for us. Yeah, well, I yeah. also met um, Eric Santa Maria from Wrestling Roundtable. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to do a special shout out. A special shout out to Scott from WWE Review, guys. Dude, awesome guy. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Dude, awesome. 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 All my awesome. You may not be here making a video you, with us, but by God, you are one of the nicest people I ever met, and I can't thank you enough. Totally for cool, being guys. Subscribe totally cool. to that guy. And one one thing for the people that never watched, never been to a ring on the students are a lot better in person than they are yes. on DVD. Yeah. Like. So we're just gonna like run through some matches and whatnot. They're they didn't, they're not exactly in this order, but we'll just give our thoughts on it. So we had Red Titus versus Eric Stevens. Okay, I'm a huge fan of Red Titus. I not wonder only, why. I wonder why, right? Yeah. You know, the man is incredible. He got some flamboyant gimmick, but it works really well with him, and he's a good wrestler. Right. Right. And, and of course, the theme nice. song "Addicted to Love." How can you not love that? And he's what? definitely very over. Big time over. over. A lot of time. Time. You're a virgin. You're a virgin. Awesome. Love it. But yeah, the gimmick works a lot better live than it does on DVD and paper Big time. TV shows. Yeah, like, I, used to, like, shape. I used to built. hate this motherfucker. Like, no, <laughs> yeah. 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 like he's just a waste of space. Out of all the students, why is he in the most airtime? But after mm -hmm. seeing him live, I can understand him. Awesome. Right. So then we had. Oh, again, this is not in the exact order, so I gotta like skip some eight. But um, in this match, we got we got so much to tell. Kevin Steen, Jay Briscoe, Magno versus Chris Hero, Ooh. Eddie Edwards, and Incognito. You have to see this match. You have to see this. Yeah. You have to see this. Okay, okay. so during the match, the third rope completely just snaps off. And you would think, oh crap, disaster. This, I swear to you guys, made the match a lot better. They just totally and they completely totally improvised. Missed. Chris and Hero started choking Magno with the rope the second it started, it broke off. I mean, yeah, they started buying how they stuff with it too. Even yeah, though, even though some people in the crowd were dumb enough to go, oh, they're going to stop, so they started going to the concessions and souvenirs. But Big mistake on their part. Yeah. It was the, uh, if I could just say one thing, um, the best part about that match was when Chris Hero got up on the second rope and, and like <laughs> I can't remember who was the guy with the dark hair. They're, they're Chris Hero's partner, not the guy with the match. Oh, Eddie Edwards. 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 They both like got on the top, uh, the second rope, and jumped off, and everyone was like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" <laughs> No, Magnum right. did the moonsault. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. Here's the thing. Right. Let's explain. Wait, this yeah, let's change the All right. There is no top. Like, usually when you're going to do a moonsault at the top rope, there's like turnbuckle, little steel rod, then post. And like, he'll do off of that. All he had was the post. He was basically on his tippy toes, on that post, losing balance. Did the moonsault off of on the top rope. Perfect moonsault. Perfect moonsault. The crowd went crazy. Unbelievable there. Another match, oh man, was just Strong freaking Nakajima's brutal. Next, Nakajima and, and Roger Strong. Start this off, Truth. Then there was a fight. It was stiff. And it was stiff. <laughs> and then it was stiff some more. <laughs> there was some stiff kicks and some stiff chops. Chops, 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 chops. I, and this was awesome. This is, I love, I love stiff stuff myself. Yeah. I'm a stiff mark, so this was yeah, really great. Stiff mark. I, I, I love Roger Strong. And... Although I'm trying to be a wrestler, I never want to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but don't you want him to chop you once? Yeah, I wanted him to chop me once. I couldn't find him. Hey, yeah. hey Gabriel, why don't you try explaining to them what, Rod, uh, what Nakajima's chest looked like? Ooh, completely red. It looked like he was bleeding. <laughs> yeah, he had wells and wells and right. busted blood vessels. It was fucking insane how his chest was so lit up. <clears throat> insane. Nails like a fucking whip. <laughs> I bet he wanted more and more. He could take it. That's how tough that guy is. We had El Generico versus Claudio Castagnoli versus Brent Albright versus Blue Demon Jr. It, um, this was a crowd water. Yeah. Is that yeah. the strong knock and chamber? Yeah, they had to like, you know, fight right on the crown. Uh, Blue Demon Jr., uh, are we showing he's a luchador? Yeah, yeah he's, he's a luchador. luchador. You're not too I big of a really. Yeah. 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 Mike isn't too big of a fan of Blue Demon Jr. Okay, and, and let me just explain something to you guys. Okay, El Generico, see his gimmick is he's a Mexican luchador who's really French-Canadian. 
But like, there were some people in the crowd that actually did think he was Mexican. Yeah. And we had people, yeah. people in the crowd like, I can't be gonna El <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm looking at Josh, and I'm looking at him, and I'm like, do they know he's not Mexican, you know? I just like, yeah, exactly, you know? It's like, but yeah, um, I'm not a fan of Four Corners Survival. Just don't like them. I agree, no. actually. I just I don't know. like them. They're, they're good, rarely. Depends so, on how they're done. Moving on, we got Brian Danielson and Alex Kozlov. This was fun. This yeah, was very, fun. Fun. very fun. Very fun. Fun, fun, fun. Danielson shows he can control a crowd within the palm of his hand just in this match. Even though he got a new theme music that doesn't really work well anymore. Well, you can't, you can't, can't really fault him for that. Can't fault him for that, yeah. But, but it was uh, the match. But it was good. I mean, they played to the crowd a lot. Um, Kozlov was over in a big Yes, way. yes. Kozlov was really over. Rush! 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 And yeah. a little kick thing he does, it yeah. just happens. Yeah. Yeah, that little kick. Oh, that happens. <laughs> do it, yeah, but he puts his hands on it. Too, you know? it we should all just do it, you know? Yeah, we should do it right now. Fuck it, like, oh, man. It was awesome. But one thing that I really noticed, because I've seen a lot of his work in, um, in Mexico, and plus he wrestled the World X Cup. Here, he wrestled a somewhat like a WWE Russian versus American style, like yeah. totally different. Totally. And they were tr trying to focus on that whole Russia versus United it States. Worked. It worked. Just not and it kind of worked, but just not, not what you would think. Yeah, I got the strange theory. I guess since like the casual fans know Alex Kozlov, and then see, since he got the same Vladimir name, Kozlov. Oh, yeah, Vladimir. Vladimir. And since like they're both Russian, that's why I guess they tried that gimmick and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Nice <laughs> yeah. So, so I guess that that's why they did it. But, but yeah, Alex Kozlov. I mean, you know. He didn't impress that much, like, but like he wasn't doing much high flying and whatnot. Yeah. And um, I will say this that they were calling Brian Anderson Chuck Norris. Yeah, and he, he did. did, he did like Chuck Norris. He did Norris a little. And he the whole chance yeah. should take full yeah. advantage. He, he started, you know. Totally. Brian Danielson kind of said, "Okay, I'm going to be uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan for yeah. a night." Mm -hmm. It was fun. Yeah, it, was it worked. worked. I think every time yeah. he gets a new ring that's hired of, it's kind of looking a little bit dingy there. But hey. And he, he even did some Hulk Hogan stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it worked. And it just totally worked. Now, um, we uh, had long intermission because some yes. dumbass tried to go out the fire exit. <laughs> so we had a oh, yes. five minute exit. I mean, it was, it was cool. We talked about him dumb some more there. Yeah. 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 All, all I can say is, um, you know, it's it, it's we can't escape the inevitable. After this trip, we're all gonna sometimes, you know, disagree with other people's opinions have a little drama here and there, but the fact is, when we all get together and go see wrestling, it's nothing but love, love and respect. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. You guys wouldn't believe it. I, exactly. We actually were hugged, built, and dug to photos in the world with them. <laughs> <laughs> this is the like, first I didn't see you That's the thing is, we're going to have Jared here. To really yeah, test Jared that theory. Jared. 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 Hold on, hold on. I'm going to rant to you, Jared. Yeah, Jared. Jared. First of all, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> First of all, you know light-skinned Puerto Rican. See, because <laughs> everybody thinks you're white. We know you're Puerto Rican, man. Puerto Rican, white. You're, you're, you're over here talking about that you didn't have dope. Dude, we could have gotten this guy super cheap airplane tickets. You know you didn't have to get no fucking hotel, dude. Mm. Car it's you had covered. You a job. And your ass didn't get here, man. Hey, oh, my God. Dude, I told you, man. You should have sold some fucking drugs, man. <laughs> you should have sold some fucking drugs. Hey, what about what about Juice and Instant Classic? Yeah, Juice and yeah, and Juice. Yeah, 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 uh, Instant Classic couldn't make because he, he, he found out late. Uh, yes. Yes. Found out late. But he's still know. pissed off at it all. Yeah. That's all. Nightmare ball up. What happened to you, dude? Yeah, man. Uh, huh? Yeah, juice, juice. Yeah, you, we gotta yeah, stay on topic. We gotta stay on topic. All right. Yeah, maybe it's the little white boy. Well, man, enter, enter, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she comes back. We have probably maybe after besides after this match, we're gonna talk about it later. Maybe the biggest pop of the night mm -hmm. in this match. First off, Bobby Dempsey comes out, mystery opponent. I have no idea. Who oh, it can we forgot about that? I'm gonna per, I'm gonna pretend I had no idea who it was. We're yes. all gonna pretend. <laughs> yeah. All right. Basically, we're here the Kamala music. It was fucking Kamala! <laughs> <laughs> Holy All shit, right. Kamala! But, but uh, basically, some of these people now did not know, Josh and I know, the crowd knew. You could barely hear Kamala's music from all the cheering for yeah. Kamala. But you got in water. this was a really fun deal. I mean... I, I was actually surprised that Kamala was so over, and Josh funny. Because you know Josh, you know, he's just like the explainer of everything in wrestling, you know what I mean? He also got the right theory for everything. Like, like yeah. if you're confused about something, Josh will just like explain it. Like, oh! <laughs> like, like, it's hard to go on top of like, with Christian Cage, people were pissed off. that Man, Christian Cage is an ECW. And then Josh had a good theory for them. Like, okay, it makes sense now, all right. <laughs> so, so Josh, how about explain to the people why he was so over? 
Okay, um, Kamala was big in Mid-South, he was also big throughout the South. Um, he's actually done, I, I think he's from Texas originally, but he's, he's always done uh, stuff in Texas, especially here in Houston. Mm. And um, so he has a pretty big fan base here. I don't know if any of you, this is kind of off topic, but it's kind of along the same thing. Um, during the Hall of Fame, they may have edited this out. If you saw it online, you might have seen it. Um, I believe Paul Bosch's name came up twice, and each time Paul Bosch was mentioned, it was a huge, huge deal. And um, that was because of that. So he was very much over. But I was surprised because it wasn't just the Texas people who were over. I mean, people really enjoyed this. I talked about this on my vid, um, particularly with the uh, Bushwhacker Luke thing as well. Yeah, I that, the, that the fans just wanted to have fun. They got that exactly. it was supposed to be fun. They mm -hmm. didn't over-criticize it. It was just like, okay, this is cool. Exactly. It wasn't long. It was a moment. It was just a moment of, yeah. of just let's cool. just right, So at the next, the next, we're probably going to be talking about this match, the next match. Wait a minute. You should call it a match. Oh, okay. <laughs> this fucking fight, man. Yes, this <laughs> fight. Right. But we're probably going to be talking about this the rest of the year, even though we have some matches that probably you have it right in there. Yes, I don't know. You don't know how you're going to feel about this. They may have botched the ending. Uh, they did botch the ending. They did botch the ending. It's fine, man. man. Dude, 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 he lost a couple brain cells after that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't oh give God. a fuck about the botched ending. It, incredible. Like, uh, like, after the game, DVD and he's like, how does this benefit David Richards? I was like, why is that a goal of yours? <laughs> yeah. But after seeing this man live and how much heart he puts into everything. Well, that match. This that match goal. will make David Richards. This, this was, was what's the match. We didn't even that match. match. What's the match? <laughs> match? Anyway, it was Kenta versus, versus David Richards. Richards. Kenta is the MVP of this weekend. Well, a lot of respect to David Richards, but Kenta is crazy over here. So anyone want to go say some of the stuff that went down in this match? All right, all right. Well, what we might as well do is like, Mike, you talk about it. Josh, you talk about it. Gary, you talk about it. Gary, you talk about it. I'll talk about that. Henry talks about it. I'll be like, no, it's, about it's that. the simple fact that what, what I love about Kenta is the fact that he has his own swagger. I mean, he can just do heal his stuff and it will be so cool. Like, he does this move where he goes over the top rope and he acts like he's going to kick you. But then he just goes like this and he puts like a face and then, you know, everybody goes crazy or nothing because he was trained by legends. He works the King's Road style, which is different from the Strong style. Which we saw but, in the Strong and not Jim. But, uh, but yeah, the Strong, the Nakajima match, that was more of a Strong style. This was more King's Road. And you can really tell the difference. And it, it's just the way everything was built up, the way everything was done. The, the spots were incredible. Like that Falcon Arrow, you know, oh, on the floor. Right. The, the dive from Richard. Everything. We literally, we could have taken the spot. They did the Falcon Arrow. Me and Mike were bouncing up and down. Yeah, Mike was <laughs> Oh, yeah. It was so hilarious. Guys, I'm not fucking kidding you. My throat was hurting. His throat was <laughs> anyone's throat was just gone. We were like, passing oh the Ricola bag up and down our row. <laughs> this match was just really incredible. Most American guys cannot pull out the Japanese style they that well. That's but Davey Richards, he is just incredible. I mean, he's a big guy, extremely exactly. flexible. Does he have like a legitimate martial arts background? I don't think I, he does. does. Yeah, if he doesn't, I mean, he can fool anybody. To me, he has like a he's guy been, like He's been in the Noah dojo. Oh, that's yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. He, this match was just incredible. There's just no yeah. other words for it. I mean, what more can I say, man? Go. Yeah, he pretty much said it all, man. Anything that stood out to you, though? Just, I don't know. Just pretty much covered it. <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah. Say something like I'm still fairly new to Ring of Honor. I wanted to watch this since last year, and all the New York shows I've gone to, David Richards has always been there. And to me, it always seemed like he has like the body shape of Dynamite Kid because mm -hmm. it's been a while almost in a sense. And I've seen his work like plenty of time, and every time I see him, he gets more and more impressive. And like with this match, he just totally stepped up his game like 10 times more. I was so impressed by him. I'm a huge fan of his now. Huge fan. Yeah. I will add this comment because I'm sure we talked about this match, but I think this comment kind of sets it up because after this match is when we all kind of met mm -hmm. Steve yeah. DeMarco. And DeMarco's comment was, I should just give up after watching that match. And he said it jokingly, of course, because he was like, how do you fucking do that? How, how, do, you, how do you even go on after that? Mm -hmm. And actually he felt sorry for the next match that we'll talk exactly. about because he was like, how do you even go, how do you, Go after that. You just can't do it. And what did David Richards say after the match? This is what we're going to honor all this right. Yeah. 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 That's, That's exactly right. right. <coughs> um, and the crowd goes nuts. I got two things. One, okay, I'm not trying to like brag about me trying to be a wrestler or something like that, but let, let me say this. I'm the new guy in my school, so I get my ass beat all the time. I get stiff to hell. And when I saw Kenta and David Richards kick the fuck out of each mm. other, I just felt that. I felt like getting in there and just exchanging, like in a circle, kick me, I'll kick you, you kick him, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs>
and secondly, this is my first ever Ring of Honor show. And I'm telling you right now, ROH, you've earned my fucking respect. Well, you don't need my respect. <laughs> but they just I'm need your money. <laughs> yeah. You got my money, man. You got my money, okay? Fuck WWE, fuck TNA. I swear to God, come to California. Oh, people were chanting, people were chanting, fuck WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So listen this up. There's this one spot where they exchange kicks for probably about a minute and a half. They end insecuring each other at the same time. They both fall down, probably about five seconds of hush. And it's just, fuck WrestleMania. Yeah. Fuck WrestleMania. And, and because he mentioned this, Stephen, I forgot to mention this. You know when wrestlers, they, um, they kick, you know how they slap their back or their thigh. You may not see it. But like they go, like real crap. Let me tell you guys something now. They didn't do none of it. They didn't do nothing. When they kicked, it was just pure leather and skin. And you could just hear it. Hear That's it. how stiff it was, just pure leather and skin. And the great thing about this match is you never knew what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. no, when the adrenaline, when, when you, you kicked call it. Let me ask you guys something. When he hit the Falcon Arrow to the outside, yeah. we would have taken the out there forever. We would have taken the count. Would you have taken the count? Yeah. yeah. I would've, yeah. I, would've, yeah. I, would've, I mean, I mean, it was. I, mean, I think people thought it was going to end in a count because they were out. They were down there. They were down. Yeah. Yeah. And the great thing about the strong style is like. You know, when they start exchanging kicks, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Maybe both of them going to get knocked out at the same time. Mm -hmm. But then one may throw one move, so it's just like, it, 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 it's insane. The ma this match, you just got to see it. There's right. nothing else to it. Right. Gilbert, Gilbert, on this next match, Gilbert and I are going to have to take up the slack. Since yeah. We're the only people still staying. Exactly. You motherfuckers are burn out. Yeah, let me just say that. So, Josh comes back because Josh should, like, recognize people while he's here. So, um, he goes, oh, DeMarco's back there. So, I'm like, really, DeMarco? So I'm like, okay, go back there, talk to him or whatnot. So he comes along, he comes along, I think Mike, you came too. Yeah. And it's like, it's funny because we're like just centered on DeMarco and he's just talking. And then and we're all listening. Yeah, and ironically enough, he got like the long hair and the beard, so yeah. he's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah, so one that he's talking about the business and whatnot. Or, no, you got two matches going on, but, but who cares because we're talking to a wrestler. Or, or you know? looks like a young James right. Mitchell. He was, yeah, uh, exactly. he was so, talking about Triple H and Booker T, and you mentioned how uh, it was unfair for Triple H to bury him. And he's like, well, Triple Booker T is the king, but Triple H is the king, king of kings. King, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, well, okay, yeah. fairly, fairly good argument, you know, but... Uh, I still disagree. No offense to Marco that book at that Triple H and a Burry book that fast mm -hmm. during that match, but either way, the moving on, it was, you know. <laughs> it was nice to fight. It was, it was for, like I said in my video, I had finally got right. the meeting. Yeah, 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 it was right. really cool. So now we're on to um, these well, two. All right, so, Gilbert, well, Gilbert, Gilbert, and I want to up the slide. Okay, basically, these four guys, Austin Aries, Jimmy Jacobs, Necro, Butcher, Tyler Black, they knew there wasn't. Right. But, uh, sorry, all right. Yeah. It's a Southern thing. Just, um, they knew. What? I know you were. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not editing anything out. Oh, okay, I will. But, alright, basically. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. The, they, they walked out here. They knew they couldn't do much. No way. They tried. They, they tried. They, they, but the, the crowd was so worn out. Yeah, they were like, burnt. The, Alright, but the funny thing was that my cousin's husband at the end of the road goes, We want tables at the end of the road. And like, right when he said that, Necro goes, Okay. And he grabbed the table. <laughs> but the, when they did the table break spot, it was just so dead. The yeah, crowd was, was. That's all we can say that the crowd was. The so crowd was taken so, down. Oh, nuts. table. But oh, the funny thing. But the best part about this match, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this on camera, but. Towards our section, Jimmy Jacobs and Austin Aries start to have, to, and they start punching uh, together. And this guy on our road goes, "The main towers explode!" And then that they, they but, laugh right there. Yeah, that big but laugh. But that's the only memorable thing from this match. Yeah. I mean, the match was like slow pace at first, start off slow, and no one cared about it, and so it kind of went like that. Like it was just like kind of like bullshit. It was, just, it was just a little time wait yeah. until the main event, which forward. was, which probably had, has one of the best things. Definitely the best innings. Yeah. It was yeah. very good. Now that match I got to see. Yeah, which was yeah. Nigel McGinnis versus Jerry Lynn, and I was still talking to the Marvel. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, 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 like, I went back. Of it pretty much. And it was, and then. Uh, this, this, I know you watched most of it. Yeah. 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 I saw the end. Watched it. The ending to this match is just incredible, and everything that's going to be this on is, the DVD after is just so. This, this to me was Jerry Lynn's best match mm -hmm. I have seen in Ring of Honor. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was better than his Brian Danielson match. Um, it was very good. I don't think everyone will like it. Uh, they worked over the both arms a lot, and uh, the ending sequence was just you. You, you have to see it's this. Very, very, very good. Very emotional. Very emotional. And one thing I'm gonna mention too: um, the fact that Nigel has spikes kind of helped him create a power driver because it looks more like he's really yeah, 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 y
He's not because of the hair and whatnot. I mean, but all we, in all, just no, I, I don't really want to spoil the ending yeah. spot for you. It's just something in wrestling. There's yeah. some things you have to see, like the ending to Briscoe's and <coughs> or Fuji and Segura. This is just one of those things where words cannot yeah, do right. justice to this ending. Which is yeah, after the match, Jerry Lynn gave an emotional promo, and he said, uh, "It's night like this that make uh, it all worthwhile." Yeah. yeah. Oh, and for everyone that says that Jerry Lynn's not over. That place was going nuts. No, they were going nuts for Jerry. When I bought a Jerry Lynch show, very nice one. Yeah. I mean, he was going nuts. Fucking heard cricket. Just <laughs> <laughs> bouncing up and down. And Nigel's speech at the end was really good, too. Really good. Yeah. Really good. So that guy's got two torn biceps, right? Yeah, two, two torn biceps. Two two torn biceps. biceps. He's still busting his ass for like 15 to 20 minutes. All, all, all those lariats. Yeah. All those lariats. Yeah. That's so what I what, You guys got some side stories at the Ring of Honor shows that you heard that for some reason I was sitting right next to you guys and I know nothing of. You know, I don't understand. I could be sitting right next to you guys and they're telling me, yo, you know, did this happen? Did this happen? No, what are you talking about, you know? But um, a oh, story okay. I do got to share, I found out the exact next day that somebody took a crap and spread the crap all over the wall in the bathroom. Really? Yeah, okay. you believe that? I heard somebody actually did that. Wow. Yeah. But what about the cake guy? They got the cake guy. Oh, yeah, they got the cake guy. Cake. 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 Oh, my goodness. That was, that was maybe the greatest. I don't know. Because the thing is, is I know I know Adam Pearce thinking a lot of crap. I will say this from just watching and seeing him walking around. That dude has fun yeah, when he's yeah, at the fun. shows. I mean, he's just he was just energetic, not like yeah. you would expect. But there was a guy actually with a cake. He was staying. I talked Big about birthday this. cake. He was actually sitting behind Brian Alvarez and his crew on the first night, and um, and while we were waiting for him to fix the ring, they he he thought I have cake, and so there was a big cake chant. They started passing the cake around. The second night, there was two cakes. <laughs> there was two cakes. <laughs> Adam Pierce took yeah. Adam Pierce took a piece of cake. Yeah, Harry Sutter took cake. Bobby Cruz got a, a piece. piece. Paul Turner got a piece. They, they did a little thing with the force where they did. Yeah. 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 I was, hope it's a bonus feature because it was so. Or, was or at least on the video. Or at least yeah, on the, the video. video, video. Yeah. The guy dancing into the hip hop music. All right. We got to we got to segue into take no prisoners now though. All right. Y'all were late. Yes, we were late. An hour or so late. No, MB and, and, and I were there first. We just chilled with Bill and Doug. Yeah. Until so, the show. just a story for you guys, right? right? And so, all you guys that, you know, you could come chill in our hotel room late late at night. Um, we had four guys in one hotel room. And we thought, well, we couldn't have more because only one shower or all this other crap. And ironically enough, you know, we didn't want too many people in the room because we didn't want to wait long. And ironically, we didn't want too many room. And I said that for 50,000 times. We had to wait for three more other people at another goddamn hotel room. So we all felt bad. Well, when I, when I say we, I mean me, Gilbert, Gilbert, and my other friend Andy. We felt bad because we're like, holy crap, we could have had more people here. We yeah. could have saved them some money. So if you guys are planning a trip, you know, six people is this the, like, the max because any more yeah, than that is six, six the max. Yeah. But yeah, you know, you know, I'm sorry, you know, to all the yeah. people that couldn't crash with us because we didn't have room because we had no idea, you know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of people emailed me prior to the show and asked me if they can get, like, like stay in the room. And I didn't realize, like, four people, I thought it would be a lot. And I kept telling everyone, no, you can't room with us for more. We were crowded, but it really wasn't crowded after all. Yeah, we so. could, I mean, if, if we really do rush, really, like, bust our balls, you got probably eight people in the room, but that's a little bit too much. But yeah, that's still, much so just, just an apology to all you guys out there. You know, I'm really sorry. We really didn't know, you know. But now on uh, on onto the show, which I was late, so here you can run on some guys. <laughs> okay. And why were we late? Me. And why were we late? Because uh, yeah, those guys woke up late. Yeah. Josh missed half the pre-show, but he was there for the yes, yeah, so I was there for the whole pay per view. Okay. Coke Band versus A Steel was a good comedy match. I mean, yeah. Okay. For oh, uh, uh, side note. Ring of Honor music, like everyone's got heavy metal music. I'm telling you, that's like the best. I love that shit. Ace Steel, I, I, so. I don't know you, but I already love your music. <laughs> That's yeah, even though I'm a dark scene guy, guys, I love heavy metal, man. You, you probably wouldn't believe it at all, but I love it. I love yeah. it all kinds. But the, the, I don't know if this is going to be on the pay-per-view, but the chance started, check the, the top row. Check the top row. <laughs> <laughs> check the top row. Two minutes. Doing all of And so then they started checking, and they yes. checked it. They spit. I mean, this like, was um, just... still locked him in a headlock that he went <laughs> 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 and then, like, he went like this. And then, then, then they, they started checking the row. That's hilarious. <laughs> But, I mean, that's all we can say. That was the best part of that match. Yeah. I mean, it is there. It was, it, was, it was okay. It was a good comedy match, if you like this sort of thing. What, what was second? The, the eight-man tag? Wasn't no, Red Titus and Luke? And Red Titus and Bushwhacker. Okay, this yeah. was... This, was this won't be on the pay-per-view, though. This will be on the pay-per-view. It was like a five-minute match. This was fun. 
It was fun. It was a good little. It, yeah. You know, for Bushwacker, for uh, Wacker, Bush Wacker, Bush Wacker, uh, for his age, you know, I mean. You know, he's not top notch, but you know, he's still pretty damn good. And doesn't he work with Ring of Honor? Is it like a road agent or something? No, he's a uh, he's friends with Kerry. Oh, so, okay. So that's why he's. Oh, that's why he gets the match. Yeah, that one. Okay. Kerry seems to know a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seems to know a lot. Kerry, Kerry, he's okay. Another off-topic thing, but Kerry is so nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, nice when, when do we stay on topic? We True. don't. We don't. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, Kerry is very nice. And he's, he's we forgot. Yeah, he so they didn't even know who he was. Brown, actually, Mike yeah. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. forgot. Oh, okay. Coco Bella Little Brown. Oh, no, there's, there's a reason why we forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, guys, the Dino okay. Brown. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. After, I don't I don't know how this shows up on Proving Ground, but i got to check. From now on, we're going to search refer to D'Lo Brown as Sir Spitz a lot. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, this dude, hey. let me tell you something guys. Spitz. This dude would just, when he would talk, he would spit. <laughs> when he would scream, he would spit. spit. He would but when he, spit. But when he get nailed with a punch, that dude like, he spit. The show like a fucking And, 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 and it's funny too because the crowd was like, shake <laughs> your head. Because they wanted to do this. And then he didn't want to do it. Do like this, everyone. I'm sorry, no disrespect to D'Lo Brown, but God. Close your fucking mouth, please. Come on. But but the reason we have forgotten the Cole Cabana and D'Lo Brown match is the reason. It was crap. So don't crazy. worry about it. <laughs> yeah, now it was back crap. to Kerry. It was crap, but on a positive note, that that match was actually better than some matches I see, like a fucking Raw Impact or SmackDown. TNA. Yeah. But uh, compared to the rest of the night, it was the worst match of the night. Yes. That's why we forgot it, because it was a very forgettable match. Yes. <laughs> okay, now back to Kerry Silken being the nicest man on the planet. Yes. But, <laughs> yeah. All right, he, he just shows so much yeah. care. And, uh, he wants to make sure everyone exactly. at his events are having a Shakes everyone's hand. He was, at the, he was at the Booker T thing. He's at the Booker T thing. Are you coming to Ring of Honor? Good. Awesome. Thank you for supporting a great wrestling exactly. promotion. Very I'm fun. glad to see you tonight. And you Hope just, I can see you again. Yeah. Hope I but. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Is. What do we have next? Eight man tag. Eight man tag. That this is really fun. This is probably gonna work better on pay per view than for us live because there's four different fights going yeah. on at once. Mm -hmm. More Magno going crazy. crazy. Yeah. Magno, I didn't see like Incognito didn't do too much, but Magno. Magno was really was so okay. So we're at the at short battery charge and DVD swap. We were at the eight man talking about how crazy motherfucker Magno is. Yes, Magno. And it was very good. I was I was surprised. I thought I thought during this match we'd get a Lucha Libre chant. Yeah. Because we because we didn't. We didn't. And, and I feel kind of bad that they didn't get a please come back chant either. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they worked their ass off in that match. I know a lot. I know a lot of people were really curious if they were actually going to be any good or not. They both of these guys did a really good job. So yeah, that was good. All right. Now I like Incognito too. I thought he was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. What do we not have? not sloppy Lucha Libre like yeah. most of you probably think. Realize that AAA is not good Lucha Libre. Even, yeah. even, uh, even if it's the most popular, it's not the yeah, most, most popular. Bad. Okay, what do we have there? Um, let's see. Alice Kozlov versus Roger Strong. Uh, a lot better match than last. Yeah. Night. This is definitely more of a match than playing yeah. the crowd. And yeah. he he looked like more to his Lucha roots. He yeah, was yeah, more like, yeah. This was this was this, this was a lot, a lot better. Kozlov's match was better. Strong. A lot of chops, yeah. kicks. I, you know. Rush Strong did that diet thing with another wrestler. What was like he he um, lost all his pounds because he took advice from another wrestler. Yeah. Uh, but, but in conclusion, to not waste time, Rush Strong is in great shape, and I just he just kicked major ass in that yeah. match. To me, he looks too skinny though. I think he's a little bit too skinny. Small. What the he's fuck? Small with you, boy. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> he's, 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 he's weird. Well, he's short, so yeah. he's got to be. Because you're, because you're used to seeing his belly hang out. Exactly. He got a lot yeah, better than a few years ago, too. He's yeah, a lot yeah, more versatile. Yeah. And yeah. He's, he's a it's, lot more It's versatile. really since Vendetta, I think, <coughs> what is that, 2005 when he wrestled Danielson for an mm -hmm. hour? Ever since then, he's been improving as he's been going on and getting better. Yeah, and it's not just an the guy is strong. I mean, he picks up Eric Stevens like nothing. Nothing. You know? I mean, yeah, he just nothing. does it. It's just, but yeah, the guy, another guy who just got a lot better. It's definitely good. Yeah. Then we went on to uh, Jimmy Jacobs versus Necro Wizard. This will probably wind Bloody up being a lot better on DVD yeah. than what we saw because they were on the opposite side of the arena for us when they were up in the crowd and stuff. Yeah, um, it was extremely bloody. I've, I've never seen blading or anything like that live, so when you see blood being killed, yeah, I mean, Necro Wizard with blood, blood was just dripping. Necro probably Bleeding. killed himself a little too much. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jimmy Jacobs with blood. blood. Yeah. Oh. No, he, 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 he took his hair. He took his hair. 
So he put his hair. He freaking pulled out his, his hair, hair and put it in his mouth. Put it in his mouth. He put, he put his the hair in his mouth. That was. There's this one spot where we really thought Necro was hurt because this the thud. You oh hear yeah. They do a yeah. suplex sure. off the top rope. I thought it was DDT. No, it was, no, was a no, suplex. No, no, no. Oh, yes. It was a floor. Off suplex. the top rope to the floor. It was. It was crazy. It was wow. crazy. Ooh. And they that they were down for a while too with that. They all had to help Necro Butcher up the to back into the ring. We all thought he was really hurt. It was, but it was the, the chair shots mm, were stupid. stupid. Jimmy, Jimmy doesn't know how to do a chair shot. When Necro Butcher finally did, I actually shouted out loud, "That's a fucking chair shot!" You know, and ironically enough, when, you know when they throw chair shots, you know the guy jumped with his hand in the way. Necro Butcher took those chair shots like clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both Both of both of just took clean them. Them. He's fucking insane. What were you? What did you say? I'm nuts, guys. You guys remember a match in the IW with Necro Butcher and Joe? Yeah, oh, I, heard, I heard about it. The one yeah. where Necro Butcher hits his head clearly on the concrete. Oh, this uh, yeah. I'm gonna say he kept going throughout the match. He is tough, oh, super tough. tough. Then we had uh, the tag team challenge match, which was uh, which, uh, Claudio Castanoli, uh, Blue Demon Jr., and Brent Albright. Nigel was supposed to be there, didn't came out, gave a little speech. This set up for Claudio doing the heel turn on Nigel McGinnis, yeah. um, which was pretty good. Nigel definitely back as a face before. He's back to where he was before he was champion. It's very strange. Yeah. Um, but so they did a three-way. Um, it was a weird three-way. It was like a handicap match. Yeah, yeah it was like yeah, a three. Yeah. It, was, it was a four-corner by. It was not. But it was. They like, should have just let them all three yeah, go at yeah. it. It probably would have been a better match. And so and so actually chanted, "Oh, Brett got in the ring," and then and then and Claudio Claudio said, said, "Idiot!" Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, so it was weird. It's like a triple threat match when you had the tag. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. Oh, and you know what I'm gonna mention too. Um, What's his name? The Luchador's name again? Blue Demon Jr. During the match, I saw that he was outside and he didn't even try to break up. Yeah, he, he was trying to break him. Yeah, he was like one two times, and I'm like, isn't the point of matches is to win? It's a fairy tale. Just suspended. Okay, yeah, fuck it. You know, but that was it was it was an okay match. It was yeah, it was okay. I gotta ask you guys something. Mm-hmm. Brent Albright, what is he missing? Hmm. What he he he, he has. He has the bag of tools. It's just something is missing. He needs to be in a tag team, in my opinion. And uh, that, or they just need to let him go out there and drop people on his head, on their head, most of the time. And Chad is real big on it, too. There's something about it. He's just well, I mean, does something. he have really good mic skills? He does well, when he, he can use his when, when he can use him. I've never seen, yeah. because oh, yeah. when I've seen the, the NWA shows, mm-hmm. he's been pretty good. Um, the stuff that he was able to do on uh, some of the, the video wires has been, I think, good. I just... They just don't let him use it. But um, I definitely think that if they just let him just be yeah. a little bit more, you know, dropping people on their heads, you know. My, um, I just want to make it really quick. My favorite match that night was what that of uh, that match was um, when Claudio was going for like a submission or pinning. Uh, Blue Demon Jr. Brent Albright got in there, stopped him, went back uh, to the opposite side of the ring, and goes, "Come on, motherfucker!" Oh yeah, yeah, that was good. Oh yeah, there was. <laughs> You know, it was tag rules, so Bruno Albright came in, that's when, that's when he came in, he went to yeah. the other, yeah, oh, that's that's right. Right. the other side, yeah, he was just getting crazy. crazy. It was oh, speaking about submissions, how I forgot about that, I'm sorry, I gotta go back to an earlier match. You guys remember the submission in Alex Costa? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. That was yeah. sick. Yeah. Best case you you part guys part. played it, shit. It, it, imagine a Mexican surfboard with a tarantula. That's what it was. Enough said. No, yeah. but, but they're talking about the one between the ropes. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. That was it. <laughs> Roger Strong was in the ring. He was outside the ring. That was with the ropes sick. between the ropes. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. Wow. Then it caused a fall on his back after he yeah, laid it over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then we got uh, the Four Corner Survival. Uh, Brian New Danielson. Brian New Danielson. <laughs> Uh, Jerry Lynn, Eric Stevens, and Dealer Brown. A lot um, better for a corner survival than the one in the yes. four. Yes. Um, yeah. Not too big on the fact they put the championship, because the championship was up before the main event, but the main event was insane. So they, yeah. the, the right match went on last. Yeah. But um, this, was, this, was, this was much better. I thought it was a pretty good match. They worked pretty well, I think, on the pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah it, it, was was actually, it was actually all right. Like I said before, I hate four corner survival. They're, they're yeah. not that great, but this one, uh, you can make an exception. This one was yeah. actually they were, they, good. They, 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 there wasn't... It was under Lucha rules, so there didn't need to be tags. I think that helped out. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think if they do phone call survival, it has to be tornado. Yeah, yeah. That, that tag, it just didn't yeah. put the tags. Yeah. Two guys in those, just two guys in the ring at a time. It worked out yeah. really it well. It seemed like it's going to be a few with Dilo Brown and Brian Davis. Yeah, so they yeah. had like a lot of heat towards each other. They had a lot. Of, they had a lot of yeah heat, and they also worked really well off of each other, really well. Too. I honestly had no problems with the match, but the, like at the beginning, there was 
when D'Lo Brown and Eric Stevens were going at it, like there was, they were like, like they did not have any. They, 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 they were flinching. They the did not was like, get the fuck over here. Let me get that lock. Yeah. You know, and even at the beginning of the exchanges, it was almost like, I don't know, like they kind of forgot it was a script. Yeah. So he went like this. Yo, yo, what, what, you gonna hit me, man? And it's like, it's like, no, but like, what, like, it was like a lot of miscommunication between yeah. those two. It's like, what was going on there, you know? I mean, I'm gonna sound like, like a typical smart mark fan, but that's what exactly no, no, what it just looked like. It was like you could notice it. I think even exactly, even it was just could notice the thing. It was just a funny little yeah. situation to learn yeah. about. There was a lot of funny situations. Was awkward. Then we had the match of the night. Ah, yes. Enzo okay. is the MVP of WrestleMania weekend. Okay. For those of you who have not seen my page, I will just say this. If you've not seen my page recently and seen my top ten, um, in the top five, Kenta and Nakajima, their two matches are that they've had so far are in the top five. I mean, uh, Kenta has three matches in the top five. That should kind of tell you something. But it was Kenta, Tyler Black, Nakajima versus Austin Aries. This was insane. Insane. Four star mustache. Exactly. Four star. Yeah. Four star. <laughs> you know, just the extent changes with Nakajima yeah. and Kenta. Oh my, oh my god. god. They I, were kicking each other back and forth. This is funny about that exchange. Much oh, respect yeah. to Kenta yeah. after a hell of a match last night. The stuff he was doing, but they were going a lot. They they had a lot more chemistry because as you yeah. know, they're more familiar with the style <laughs> and like. When they were going with their exchange, you just didn't know where they were going to go because they would just kept throwing you up. And Even just, through all the applause, they still they kept, still up, kept they kicking each other. And, 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 and again, like the David Richards match, it was just flesh and leather. I mean, can't believe they were doing it. And just a side note, I mean, a lot of dude, guys know this, but um, the reason why it's called Kenta is because um, the legendary um, Kenta Kobashi, right? But his name is Kenta Kobayashi. So you got Kenta Kobashi, Kenta Kobayashi, so there would so there would be no confusion, that's why they call him Kenta. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just a little side note on that, but yeah, you're going to the match. But the the main I I can't tell which little kicking segment I like better. The one from the night before with Kenta and Davey knocking the shit out of each other oh. over not it's just knocking Jim and Kenta just bam, bam. Yeah. 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 And then what was crazy was that you see uh Black and Aries reaction during that whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Austin Aries or Josh Abercrombie? Either yeah. one. Yeah, either yeah. one. Who exactly was in the match? Yeah. Austin Aries is like freaking chewing his mustache on like this. Chris <laughs> <laughs> Farley. You know, and when especially when they were like, because you see how in Dragon Gate they like to duck each other's move, and then when they started ducking one guy, and he started ducking him, and he caught him out of nowhere, no soul, bam, hit him. Man, just like, shit, 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 oh, fuck. And everyone just getting up and fucking clapping, man. Ooh, nuts. Crazy, it was crazy. Yeah, Aries actually slapped Kent in the face. Yeah, yeah. yeah and people were like, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, did uh, Kent actually pull off like a spinning, uh, Brain Buster off the apron to the floor, uh, mm. or was that the Davy Richardson Kenta match? That was the Falcon yeah. Arrow. That was, no, that was the Falcon Arrow. arrow. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. Which he it's thought was a Brain Buster. Yeah. You thought it was a Brain Buster too? A spinning Brain Buster. Yeah, that was oh. a Falcon Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, if it looks like a spinning Brain Buster, that, that just makes me more happy. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert. All right. Well, battery's down. Might as well close yeah, it. Yeah. Well. All right, we're done, folks. Right, we're we're right. WrestleMania, right. guys. WrestleMania. Dude. We're trying to make this. One time a year. How many moments you got up? Show up, well, motherfuckers. Show up. Show up. You're going to have a great yeah. time. And you will be known. You will all be known from the YouTube community. Everybody put their egos aside and have fun. That's what it's all about. Exactly. That's yeah. what it's all about. P.S. Bill and Doug, I'm not True Slayer's cousin. 